Ambassador, I will repeat this for the last time. My government has nothing to do with these engineers. I'm sorry. I don't know what you expect me to do. I know down there you placed squash for the American ambassador's aid on Thursday. I know he listens to you. The American president is a lot of things, but she's not stupid. And she should know we wouldn't do something like this. You might want to tone down the rhetoric a bit then. We have our own electorate too, and they can think we've lost control. Do we sit idle and watch our own people revolt against us? We are the obvious suspect in this. Why would we set ourselves up to be bombed? We've got no love for the Americans, but this, this is insanity. And you tell the Americans that. I see what I can do. Iran won't open those doors. Who gives a sh Boo hoo! Kick the goddamn door in! Lies! All lies! Once again, the American bullies are crying terrorists. What the hell did we just do? We found documents. We didn't prove Iran was involved with the blacklist. Well, they don't seem to be too concerned with the details. Bogus documents or not, Congress wants blood, and all they can see is Iran. Caldwell's gonna declare war unless we can give her another solution. That mean we don't have one? No. We have this. The old U.S. Embassy in Iran, isn't that... Quds Force HQ now? Hell of an ambitious up for Caldwell. It isn't her op. It's mine. So what? Well, we just don't tell her that we're going into Iran, the President of the United States. This is your plan. This is risky, Grim. Even for us. It's the only way to stop a war. Yeah, or start one. We'll go for Tehran. This operation has to happen fast, so fast our own government doesn't know we're on the ground. I think I'm gonna be sick. Focus, Charlie. Can we get a drone in the air without it attacking us? I killed the exploit the engineers used last time. I added a verification layer and I threw in a hardware kill switch. Yes, would have been fine, Charlie. Where do you want Briggs? He's out. You're gonna do this alone? What's our way in? Show me. Not what. Who? I'm sending it to your opset. This is one of the most secure buildings on the planet. There is no way. Getting in isn't going to be the hard part. The could servers are air-gapped. We have to physically pull the data? I'm sending the hardware specs to your workstation. But we can't just... Let's know. More go, Charlie. Disruption is the only way you'll get in and out of Kud's HQ alive. EMPs catch enemies by surprise, and the tri-rotor can turn the tables on an ambush. عجله کن چه تو احمق He's taking a nap Good to meet you general I don't talk to American spies Not even when they have a targeting solution on your wife and child I mean that is them that just came off the market right Looks like Gorma Sabsi for dinner tonight You bastard <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath and think this through. I need to get inside QF headquarters. I need answers. We have nothing to do with the blacklist. It's gonna take more than your word to stop a war. Get me inside. Put this in your ear. I see you harming a single one of my men. My cooperation ends. 
I'm not here to hurt anyone. Keep moving. Sam, it looks like the bluff worked. Confirm we are go. Go. Is that for me or your American minders? It's for you to know I'm not alone. Kind of you. Sam, when you get inside, access the servers. Plug in that flash drive I gave you. It's tricked out to pull everything they've got on the blacklist. Copy. love what you've done with the place. Yes, we've made some improvements since 79. See that parking garage? That's your way in. I'll take care of the guard. The cameras are your problem. Head down to the garage and I'm I will in the parking meet you there. garage, General. Wait for me at the bottom level. I don't like this, Sam. That last phrase the General used in the security room isn't consistent with his usual diction. Could be a code. SMI gives it a 37% probability. Watch your back. Still with me? Until the job is done. How very comforting. Wait, don't go any further. Befarmay. General Warman, shama farmudit ke inja biyam. Bayad ba sarhang maluf sobat kunid. Az un bekhayin ta ye nuskha az akhirin guzarish ro be shama bede va un ro roye miz man bezari. Va age unja nabud, General? Chash, be man etemad kunid. Boro. Follow me quickly. The surveillance will need to cut through, and the RFID chip I'm carrying only disables it for a short time. Why are you taking me through heavy surveillance? Because you've left me no other option. It's our only way through. Through where? Holding cells, where we would keep people like you interfering in our affairs. I'm here to stop a war between our two countries. Says the man with a UAV flying over Iranian airspace. And sometimes there's no time to negotiate. Spoken like a true soldier. Pass this door. We're almost there. Stay close. Why'd you stop? Because I would rather have my family die than to have them live as traitors. There's a fine line between stupid and brave, General. Americans, <laughs> you think you invented bravery? You guys must be the cleanup detail. Racing around, pointing your guns, threatening innocent people. You have no idea how to stop the blacklist, do you? I will teach you how to deal with terrorists. Grim, now. <laughs>
nice work, Grant. Charlie helped, too. He hacked good security to kill main power. You've got a brief window to reach the server vault before backup generators kick in. Okay, I see an elevator, but it's sealed off. You don't have the RFID tag to get through. But the guards do. Grim, heading to vault level. Sit rep. Monitoring their commo. They're calling in a quick reaction force. They'll be sweeping the building for you floor by floor. Copy that. Charlie, walk me through the decryption vault. There's a search algorithm on the portable drive I gave you. It'll find and pull anything they've got on Steak or the Blacklist. Plug it in and it should rip the data. Should? It will. It, it will. Sam, you're coming up on the signals vault. You got a couple of options. Okay, quiet, you go through the cooling system underneath the vault. Loud, you go through the terminal at the back of the room and hack the vault door open. Copy. You gotta vent the coolant gas first, Sam. Access control should be nearby. لا 
لعنتی چقدر اینجا ساکته Drive is live. Perfect. Sit tight till the transfer is done. Signal's phone doors are now open. You can proceed with your search. So, on my way, I'm under arrest. Mojavaz, you're too. Mojavaz, I'm in a car game. Corona, can you put your hands on me? Copy. Can you force that bend? I want you to start searching. Get moving. Let me see what that was. I've got the drive. Itchy. things. Split up and keep looking. Keep your eyes open. I could use some help with this search. I'm coming. Grim, schematics show what I'm walking into. Negative, Sam. It's drawing blank on the SMI.
I think I got something. Did you the probably knife after this? Headed out of the building. Sam, there's a security gate on your exfil route through the gardens. You should be near a security control room. Access the terminal inside and we'll override the doors. Let me take a look and see what it lets me access. Oh, nice. All right, I got this, Sam. Just give me a minute and I'll open up an exit for you. Grim, where are we with the exfil? Still working on it. Shit. What's happening? Got even more reinforcements inbound. Charlie, you need to move faster. I'm working on it. Any word from the Iranian military? That's what's odd. Channels are clear. They're keeping it internal. To avoid embarrassment. You still need to get out now, Sam. You're dealing with Iranian special forces and you're out of time. Talk about timing. All right, you're clear, Sam. Security gates are open. On my way. Keep working on how I'm gonna get there. <laughs> after he gets you the hell out of there. Meet him on the far side of the exterior garden.
plus vehicles racing to your position. Another wave of enemy vehicles closing on you. Uh, can you find a way around them? The only way out is through them. What do you mean? Bring in the drone lower. Waiter, I'll pick it up. That's the least of our problems. AGM missiles online. Negative. Repeat negative. I'll trace it back to the US. Grim! Weapons hot on the UAV. Grim, I hope you know what you're doing. Vehicle is down. Enemy vehicle is out. Hostiles eliminated. Another SUV down. Enemy vehicle is out. Hostiles eliminated. Shit, we're getting noticed. I mean, I'm not so great with Farsi, but Iranian military bands are lighting up. Won't be long till their air defenses are deployed. Eliminated. Vehicle is down. Hostiles eliminated. Vehicle is down. Pursuit vehicles are jammed up. You're clear. I'll see you back on the plane. Looks like our wire transfer has been received. I know that an unauthorized drone strike was... There was no drone strike. There was a very unfortunate drone malfunction. Of course. There is a reason you're on that plane. I need you to be my eyes and ears on this mission. I am, Madam President. Not if I can't trust you. Come on. You couldn't have been expecting a thank you. You would have done the same thing in my position. Gambled with the war to save your life? I did what I did for the sake of the mission. Guess the President's not the only one with a good cover story. The data we found clears Iran of any involvement with the Black That's List. That's not my point. I know your point. You think I made a bad call, just like Briggs did in London, right? The decisions we're forced to make are not always black and white, Sam. They just can't be personal. Really? Then lead by example. We both know damn well you'd risk everything if Vic's life had been on the line. Vic has nothing to do with this. He's the only reason you're on this plane. The only thing you value more than the job? The team. Graham. Thank you. You want to thank me, talk to Briggs. We need him if we're going to pull through this one. Hey, guys, that tracker on the chemical weapon, it's almost on U.S. soil. I heard a gas leak caused a huge explosion in downtown Tehran. Apparently we were never there. The truth isn't gonna make anyone look good. Don't know if they're gonna let this slide. If we didn't stop the war, we at least delayed it. it bought us enough time to figure out who's behind the blacklist. Good work, Grim. I've got a few simulations to run. I'll check in with you later. Hey, Sam. Briggs. Nice work on the ground. You ain't even one beyond the op, Sam. I know. You made a ballsy call. 
Just like London, right? Look, forget about London. I need you back on the blacklist. What? I can train you to make the right call, but risking your life to go with your gut. No one can teach that. Be good, right? Nice work, Briggs. <laughs> Sounds like I've got work to do. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Sam. I finally scrubbed all that data you pulled from Tehran. Get anything on the blacklist? Quds Force had a kill order out on Sadiq. I don't think your buddy the General was lying. In the bad news department, our trace on Nuri's phone went gonzo all of a sudden. We'll dig him up. Great. Well, then we just have to worry about the holy shit, what the hell are we gonna do department. The chemical weapons we tracked from London, they're in the States. Charlie, that's a good thing. Means our plan's working. Man, I'd hate to see what your definition of bad is. Nice work, Charlie. I'll uh, keep you posted, Sam, on everything. You know, I did a lot of business with Iran back in the day. Glad I'm not losing a supplier. You're a hell of a guy, Coben. Come on. Capitalism was around long before I showed up. Besides, compared to some of the other assholes in my line of work, I'm a saint. Compared to anyone else, you're an asshole. I think we're good. <sighs> you're a real buzzkill, Fisher.
flight deck here. Uh, we've hit some unexpected turbulence. We'll be climbing up as soon as we can. But in the meantime, it's going to be a rough ride. I just wanted to call, see how you were. I don't know. Scared? The blacklist thing's ticking down, so people are going nuts. Everybody's hiding in their basements. Well, there are worse places to be right now. Are we going to war with the Randad? Because that's what everybody's saying. Well, it kind of depends on the president, how fast she reads what Grimm sent her. Did you guys? No, I'm not going to ask. Good. Oh, before I forget, Uncle Vic sends his best. He's awake? You talked to him? For like five minutes before they put him under again. He's... He's in a lot of pain, but he said to tell you that he'd be back, and that you owe him a beer. Yeah, that sounds like Vic. Yeah, it's good to hear. But hey, sweetheart, I need you to do me a favor, okay? Stay home tomorrow. I... I will. Good. Dad, I... I wish I could tell you, but I can't. But do this for me, please. Tracker feed has us looking at downtown.